Hey guys, what's going on? Bang, bang. This past week was a big one for Bitcoin. First, we saw Bitcoin hit a new all-time high in Argentina. This is a great reminder that many countries around the world continue to devalue their currency, and Bitcoin is just as important there as it is here in America and the Western world. On top of that, we also saw that Michael Saylor and MicroStrategy are no longer underwater on their Bitcoin position. I don't think that Michael Saylor and that company were gonna sell their Bitcoin, but it still is a great sign to see because now they can defend to their shareholders the decision that they made. And hopefully as the price continues to increase, more and more corporations will realize that this may be one of the best store of value tools that they have available to them. On top of that, we saw Bitcoin's dominance in the overall crypto market cap continue to increase. And it now is as high as it's ever been since July, 2021. That's a pretty big deal because it shows that although Bitcoin is the oldest cryptocurrency in the world, it continues to be the most popular. On top of that, we saw that Coinbase is now going to integrate the Lightning Network. There are a number of other exchanges that have done this in the past, but Coinbase being by far the biggest and the one that most American investors take a look at, if they go ahead and they integrate the Lightning Network, it is another data point that that piece of technology and that network is gaining steam, popularity, and I think that a lot of institutional investors will start to look at it as well. Last but not least, we also saw that we have now hit a 50-year low in the trust in government. Now, of course, there's a lot of things driving that, but when you have something like Bitcoin, a decentralized digital currency that is not dependent on any one individual, organization, or government, it tends to be the type of tool that people turn to for an alternative. One of the things that I'm paying a lot of attention to right now is the rise of artificial intelligence. When you think about the overall theme, it's simply automation. Bitcoin is an automated central bank, and a lot of the AI tools that we're seeing launched are simply creating automated transactions or other types of automation in daily tasks. One of the things that I believe that will define the 21st century is that rise of automation. And so naturally, if we are going to have daily tasks automated away, it probably makes sense that we're gonna have the monetary policy become automated as well. Keep paying attention. There's a lot of work still left to do, but Bitcoin showing positive signs again for another week in 2023. I'll see all of you next Saturday.